Hello Vegan Prism, good morning and today we are at the Noah's Ark Dog Sanctuary all the way up in Meliha and today we have with us here Fabio, the president of the Noah's Ark Sanctuary. Hello Fabio, good morning Hello. Hello. Good morning. and thank you for joining us and uh, to get things off going uh, I would like to ask you how did uh, Noah's Ark Dog Sanctuary, how did it come about to be? It started in 2004 and I started okay. it by finding a stray dog All called right. Lady, <laughs> which was abandoned. And then I was looking for a, st uh, a place to build up as a sanctuary, knowing there were so many stray dogs uh, this, this side of the island. So that's basically how it started. All right, okay, and it flourished off to? And it flourished to now 120 dogs. 120 dogs, wow. Then that's just one sanctuary, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, basically, what is what is the routine when you come in here, the volunteers? What is a typical day at Noah's Ark Dog Sanctuary? The, some of the volunteers come very early in the morning. Like five o'clock in the morning, they start cleaning. You can imagine having 120 dogs. You, having, you have 120 uh, uh, poos to clean yes. and get rid of and wash the pens and take them out for a walk and take them out in the run so they can relax while you clean their prints and change the beddings and this is every single day. Then we have volunteers that come later on in the day like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock which they come, they feed the dogs, make sure everything's alright, make sure they've got water and change the water and so forth. Yes, we also noticed coming in some people walking the dogs. Yeah, we got we get a lot of volunteers coming in uh, to walk the dogs, especially on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, uh, which is good because yes, uh, every dog course. gets to be walked. Uh, and the people can come just come people in and can, ask you. People can just come in. We're open from eight till noon, and they can come in and help look at the dogs, walk the dogs. And do whatever they uh, you know, so, Yes, yes, uh, maybe you can hear them on the background, people um, walking with the dogs. Um, it's a big thing you can do, to, it's a small gesture you can do, which has a very big effect um, on all these dogs here. You can come in as part of your um, morning walk in the morning and the weekends, come in, walk a dog, and give them some brightness in their lives. Now, all the dogs here, are they uh, microchipped, vaccinated, and neutered? As soon as a dog come, walks into the sanctuary, we have him vetted, the vet will come and check in. Then we uh, microchip in and neuter in. All the dogs are neutered. All right, okay, that, that helps a lot uh, for the adoption process. Per, pro, process. And uh, if a person wants to, to adopt, um, what would be the process someone would follow? Mm. First, he should come here and have a look at our dogs and walk a couple of dogs. And maybe he get attracted to one particular dog or, or one particular dog get a, uh, attracted to the person. And then, we'll, you know, after a couple of times walking him and getting used to the dog, we'll see where he's going to be kept. I mean, we'll make sure that when they leave here, they go to a better place. Yes, of course. So uh, if somebody says, so like, for example, we've got a big roof, that's a no-no. Either he's going to live as part of the family or he stays here. Yes. That's yes, our policy. Yes, yes. It's important to take him somewhere where he'll where be part loved, of the family, and, yeah. yes, and it's a forever home. That's right. He will end up living and eventually dying in love with, with the his family. family, yes, yes. And is there a particular case, like a particular adoption, which uh, we'll never forget? Well, a particular case was a dog that was uh, dumped at the Grand Harbor. Somebody tied a rope around its neck with a brick. But luckily, the, it was a nylon rope and it slipped. And this dog uh, came to us. This, somebody from the armed forces jumped into the water and rescued him. And now he's living in Switzerland. So this dog wow. went from being almost uh, drowned in our harbor to living in, in the Swiss. Wow. In Switzerland. Yeah. <laughs> that is a very big change. Yeah. Well, how long ago was this? This was about six years ago. Six years? Very fairly recent. Very recent. Fairly recent. And um, we constantly hear of a lot of dogs um, who are in the streets and people find them and they're actually, they don't even have a microchip. What is your message to the people? When well, it comes message to these is, well, first of all, it is not just a message, it's the law. Yes. Every dog should be microchipped. So a person who has a dog that's not microchipped is actually breaking the law. But that's not on ours, that's on the animal welfare. 
please, please microchip your dogs. So if, if, if it strays or gets lost, all we have to do is check the microchip, we'll phone animal welfare, and animal welfare will phone you and so you can come and collect the dogs. It's important to microchip them. It's like carrying an ID card. Yes. It's like an ID card. Yes, and it's very important if anyone has gone through the heartbreak of, of losing a dog. Having the dog microchip can, can lead to you and you being reunited with your fairy children. So it's very, very, very important. And not just for your own dogs, but also for other dogs. If you see a dog in the street, if you can stop and take him to the vet, see most of the times from experience, most of the times they will have a microchip. All it will take is some time from your day and you will actually help that dog be reunited with his or her family. And uh, to close off Fabio, um, what are the, uh, the ideas, the plans you have for where will be Noah's Ark in the near future? Well, we are expanding what we're doing, we're planting trees. We have just, the government just planted the uh, environment department. Uh, just planted about 300 trees for us. Okay. So in a year's time, they'll be they'll flourish, and we can have. What we do, we bring school children here to, you know, part of the uh, education program. They can walk the dogs, and while it will be nice, especially in the summer, if yes, there's trees to shade the, to shade off both the uh, the children and the dogs yes yes and we'll put some uh, some photos about the new the new areas as well as some dogs um, uh, in the description of our facebook page and uh, i would like to take this opportunity to invite uh, everyone this coming Thursday, 7th November, we are going to have an event called Plant-Based Babies where we will be discussing about how uh, a mother can go through pregnancy and raise her child solely on a whole food plant-based diet. And also, the event will be at Balance Bowl in Xira at 7pm and we'll be collecting donations which will be going straight to Noah's Ark here to help them in their very, very important work they do every single day. No matter the weather, no matter how hot it is, they're here helping these lovely dogs to hopefully one day find a home. Thank you, Fabio. Thank you and uh, if you have any comments and ideas, please leave them in the sections below. Otherwise, we'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.